Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video for Christian. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you so much for your comments on my last video. I watched some of the video. I watched Trevor's um, Straight Razor Shave. Great shave, dude. Um, after I get my weight and butcher straight fixed up and you know, maybe my next razor will be one of those Portland, Oregon straight razors. Um, anyhow, uh, quick bit of housekeeping. I'm up 78 subscribers. Yay me. I think I know who the newest one is. Not sure. We were talking yesterday. Today is Monday. Um, I haven't shaved since Friday because I've been waiting for the razor that's coming in. And before I get to that, Something's up with either YouTube or the latest update of iOS, because I do use uh, iPhone. And I cannot comment on videos. I can bring up the edit field. I can pop down into the keyboard field. I just can't get it to click o to go over to send. So, you know, thank you all. Johan Shaven, of Shaven Butcher, I believe that's your name. Bud, I'm not sure. Anyways, thank you so much for the mention. And thank you for calling me a bastard. Because I know it was complete respect. Um, so, I welcome that. Anyhow, uh, let's move on to, the, to what the video is going to be about. In this video, I'm going to be shaving with a razor that I received uh, a couple of videos back some new stuff. I haven't been able to use it yet because it needed some work done. If you watch that video, you know what one I'm talking about. Had an issue with the doors, you had to force them open. I had to force them open when I got it. If you went to close them, you'd have to force them down and it was just, it was all bad. It was all bad. And that is this one. My 19... 30, brand new 1938 Gillette Senator. As you can see, the doors open and close so smoothly. Matt Pasarsic, the guys at Razor Emporium, they did a beautiful job. As you can see, that, the inside of the head, is just beautiful, beautiful. It's got a little bit, my girlfriend said, it's got some my, tiny, tiny scratches on top. A little bit of scratching on one of the teeth. And underneath the base plate, it's got a little black spot. Like maybe a tiny bit of pitting at one time. But other than that, it's in beautiful shape. I've been wanting one of these for some time now. And I finally got one. So on tonight's video, or when I shave tonight, this is what we're going to be using. And um, it is an open comb razor. The guys at Razor Emporium, they sent it back to me in a box um, with, with the styrofoam peanuts. It was in this Ziploc bag with one of their cards. Uh, some um, instructions about safety razor care. A uh, free polishing cloth, not sure if I mentioned that, a free polishing cloth so you can keep your razors looking nice and shiny and those polishing cloths only run five bucks at Razor Emporium and they are safe to use on all finishes, gold, silver, rhodium, which from what he said in the thing, in the instructions, rhodium does not need polishing or really, do, really doesn't need polishing. But you can use it on rhodium, gold, silver, nickel, any kind of finish, it's safe on. Anyways, so that's it for this part. I'll see you all back here for the shave um, when I edit this out. So I guess I'll see you all in a minute. Hey guys, anyhow, so like I said in the earlier part in the beginning of the video. I was going to give it a few more hours to let this grow in. It is now Monday evening. 
anyhow so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to be doing for the rest of the shave the brush is going you already know what razor it's going to be the brush is going to be my beautiful tall amber handle or whip dog tall amber handle brush with his 24 millimeter high mountain white this is um, definitely one of my favorite if not my favorite brushes because this badger knot is just the tips are so so uber soft I absolutely love it it's got decent backbone it's a great all around uh, brush whether you want bowl lather face lather it works the soap, because of what's been going on with Russell Barton and Wild West Shaving, Wild West, um, Lewis and Clark. It's a woodsy scent. Beautiful, beautiful scent. I forget the scent notes, but it's definitely woodsy. Mm. It's a pretty firm soap, but because it doesn't, I don't believe it's got waterproof stickers. Um, well, there's not really a sticker around the side, but it's just easier for me to lather in the bowl. I do a bowl lather. I don't mind doing a bowl lather with it. Um, it's a two ounce puck, so it's kind of small. The blade is going to be one of those Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blades that I used in the last video. This is its third shave. Here's the package. It's a single wrap blade. Nothing impressive about the wrapping. You get these on Amazon, pretty decent price. Or no, not Amazon, eBay. And um, they come in packs of 10. So open the beautiful Gillette Senator. We'll drop the blade in here. I have not put a blade in this yet, so I have no idea what the blade gap is or anything. I've never used a sander, so I have no idea how to shave away. Let's lock it down. And, um, uh, got the blade. The blade gap is nothing major. Um, one thing about this 38, it doesn't have the sidebars, they don't move up and down. Um, as you can see, no sidebars, a um, little bit of overhang, but the one difference is, is the doors, they close flush, it doesn't have the, um, that, that T-bar sticking up, so they just close down flush. So, let's go ahead, rehydrate the brush a little, let's go ahead and start lathering the soap. By the way, the bowl is my timeless, timeless blue lather bowl. I really want to get one of those copper, um, what do you call them, um, Captain's Choice Bowls. So, it definitely, the scent definitely comes out when you're lathering, so. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. That's good. So let's go ahead and let's wipe the face. wet face with some cold water. Um, the weather here is starting to turn nice. Um, saw the last video, 406 Shaver, welcome back to YouTube, sir. Um, so if you used to watch the 406 Shaver and you've unsubscribed from this channel, sorry about that guys, one moment. So if you've unsubscribed from 406 Shaver's channel, 
He's back. Um, so, which is really cool. Um, brother, if you watch this video, oh, there's that guy does that all the time. Um, but anyways, I don't know if you heard that, but uh, I don't know all the reasons you left. Um, other than hearing that maybe, I don't know. YouTube might have been giving you crap or something. I don't know. I can't remember exactly what I heard about it, but um, I'm glad to have you back. I enjoy your videos. You got good stuff, dude. So, um, many of you know the thing with Russell Barton. Um, There are on Facebook. Some of the shaving groups, which I do. I have been dropping in. Peeking in on some of them. And commenting in a few of them. Um, things to wear, you know. It's just, I'm more controlling what I see on Facebook than I used to, so, um, I know I said I'd probably never go back, but, I've got, oh, that's nice, oh, that's really, really sweet, that's nice, smooth, oh, wow, um, anyways, so, Gerard Payette, if it's just shaving as a fundraiser going, a couple other guys too. I've went ahead and um, Aaron Frugart, a uh, frugal shave, a frugal shave over there on Etsy. Um, he's doing a five dollars a spot. Unlimited spot raffle for Russell and his family. Um, Aaron himself is donating a Icon 101, 102, or an Icon 102, a Merker Progress. Um, each one of them comes with a stand, um, and some other stuff, his own 3D printed blade dispensers, which hold 100 blades each, and some soaps from his new soap line. Winner's choice of scents. One fella, I forget his name, has donated a shore, I'm not sure if brush and razor, but a shore shave razor and brush set. I'm not familiar with that brand, so I can't tell you. Um, Uncle John is donating a winner's choice of soap and aftershave or, or I should say a soap and aftershave set Irina Marku of Ginger's Gardens doing the same Dennis, uh, Douglas from Phoenix Shaving is donating his John Frum or whatever it's called soap and aftershave cologne set which he hasn't even released on his site yet. Um, 
and me, I've kicked in a 1924 Ever Ready hood style shovel head, which I will show you after I lather back up here. Um, Ever Ready single edge razor, the travel handle. Um, so, it wasn't getting as much love as other razors in my den. Um, so I figured what the hell. Um, there's people that really, really, truly enjoy SEs. More DEs. I like SEs, but I prefer DEs more. So, and it wasn't getting a lot of love, so, but it's in really nice condition. So, anyways, I've rinsed my hands. grab the razor because I forgot to bring it in so one moment anyways here's the razor as you can see a bit of short handle there's the top back it's got this part you push up on it and as you can see it flips over and you guide the blade, there's the inside in beautiful condition, guide the blade down behind these here posts and in to these corner hooks. As you can see, the bottom's in really nice shape. So that's what I'm donating. I don't have barber side, but I will go ahead and give it a really good clean up. And um, with antibacterial soap and dip it in rubbing alcohol when I before I send it on its way and it will go to somebody who's you know maybe doesn't have one in their den anyways across the grain my uh, senator it's very smooth um relatively mild razor Really, really like it. You can, I can definitely see. Oh wow, that's getting it really clean on just two passes. Um, I can see why so many people love this razor. Um, Oh yeah, it's just taking everything down. The soap is very, very slick. Um, feels really good on the face. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check out Wild West Soaps, um, which at this time I just got the one. Um, when Russell eventually Gets back to his routine. Well, well, you know, maybe get a soap or two or whatever. Um, I really enjoy it. And Oh, well, I owe a certain person a bit of gratitude for this um, soap. And you know who you are. So, yeah.
anyways, because this video is probably a little long. Let's see here. Let me dry my hands. Zero, 17. Oh, stop recording oh, video. Only 17 Button. minutes so far. Plus the 4 point whatever minutes. Eh, not bad. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go for a third pass. We'll see how well this thing does. So, but, um, yeah, if you want to go ahead, if you want to get in on Aaron's raffle, you go ahead and go to PayPal and you send the money to five dollars a spot, send it F and F. Um, because if you send it GNS, well, they take out fees. Um, Aaron's a good guy. Um, I've never heard any, you know, I've never heard of him being scandalous or anything like that when it came to money. Um, or anything like that. So. But. You send it to him. Via, via PayPal. And you send it to Frugal. Shave. Not shaves. But Frugal. Shave. Dot com. And just down in the notes, just put in, this is for however many spots for Russell's raffle. Um, if you want to donate, you can just, you know, say this is to donate to Russell. Um, not trying to plug anything or anybody, just I think it's really cool what Aaron's doing. There's a number of guys online or in the wet shaving community who's doing this, doing stuff for him. So. But anyways, so that's what you do if you want to get in and a chance to win that lovely, lovely Ever Ready or chance to win an Icon or you know, decent soap set, soap and aftershave set, or maybe a short shave razor and brush. So, yeah, Matt Pasarsic did a really well. Matt Pasarsic and whoever, whoever did this, whoever, you know, did the tune-up on this razor, because Matt's not the only guy that works there. But whoever did this razor, oh, beautiful, beautiful job. Beautiful job. I was, you know, I'm not saying the guy at, you know, I'm not going to say the guy at Vintage Blade on Etsy knew that the razor had the issues. Um, I mean, you know, it'd be a very smart business move to <laughs> send a you know a razor that's got you know door issue door issues with the doors. Uh, you know, and the base plate bent. If um, you know, knowing that more than likely, considering that you guarantee a money-back guarantee, or 100% satisfaction money-back guarantee pretty much, within 30 days, um, well, there would have to be something wrong with you to send out a senator or any razor with the issues this one had. And um uh, 
and he didn't, he didn't like, oh no, 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 it's not my fault type thing when we told him, said, hey, this is the issue. He was like, all right, send it back, I'll fix it. But he did say there was no guarantee that, um, that something ain't going to break. So... Sat down and told my girlfriend, you know what, let's just send it to Matt. They're razor smiths there. Um, I know that they're razor smiths. I mean, I'm not saying the guy doesn't know his stuff about razors. They're vintage blade. But, you know, um, I just felt more comfortable sending it to Razor Emporium. And uh, decent residual slickness on this soap, too. Russell, if you ever see this video, man, um, my thoughts are with you. And, um, you make a great soap, dude. That's good. Uh, yeah. I am definitely going to handle that. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to. Oh, that good. But yeah, Russell, my thoughts are with you, and you know, speedy recovery, sir. Speedy recovery. Oh, one little spot right there. Um, and Matt and them, they just, they did a good job. On it. They did a really nice job on the senator. I'm absolutely happy with my decision to send it to them. Happy with my decision not to send it back, not angry about the condition it came in, or, you know, it was, I mean, the plating is in just such a beautiful shape, so I'm not upset in any way, shape, or form with anybody concerning this razor. I'm just glad that I was able to go ahead, I'm just glad that I was able to, you know, send it in and, and, and get it fixed and tuned up to where... You know, a beautiful, not the easiest razor to find, you know, wasn't made as many as super speeds and stuff and aristocrats. So, really happy to add it to the den. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut away here, I'm going to go ahead, shave my head, come back, well, real quick, let's do some alum. So, give me a minute to rinse off here. Oh, by the way, Trevor... Happy birthday, or happy 40th birthday. He didn't say what day his 40th was on, but straight razor shave. He said he got that thing, that straight. Oh, not bad. He got that straight for 40th birthday gift. A little bit of feedback. Not bad. Um... Yeah, a little bit. Nothing to nothing to go ow 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 about, but um, yeah, it's really nice. Um, no major nicks, no cuts, no weepers, no creepers. That's a damn good shaving razor right there, boys and girls. Anyways. So, anyhow, now I'm going to cut away, shave my head, or rinse this off, shave my head, and I'll be back for the post. See you in a minute. Tonight's beverage is presented by Kirkland Scotch. And no, I normally don't drink my scotch on the rocks out of a jar but my brother 
He brought me over some bourbon earlier. Already brought over some bourbon earlier. Jim Bean with honey. Um, put it in that. And after I had that, I thought, you know what? I'm going to have me a scotch. So I went ahead and just put some scotch in there and threw some ice in it. Anyways, so the shave. That Gillette, 1938 Gillette Senator, no nicks, no cuts, no weepers, no creepers, absolutely baby butt smooth on the chin, or the cheeks, the chin, the lip, upper lip, pretty darn good. The neck, got me right down here in my problem spot, got it really good. Um, really, really nice. One moment. Oh. Hey guys, my son had to go to the bathroom. Um, but anyways, yeah, everything's good. Of course, I shaved my head with the disposable. Doing a good job on that. Um, the soap, absolutely wonderful. The blade, great shave. Third shave, still going strong. So, um, my opinion on the 1938 Gillette Senator. Two big old thumbs up. Anyways, so yeah, if you want to go ahead and get in on the raffle, frugal shave um, at gmail.com is the PayPal address. Five dollars a spot. Do it F and F. Um, that way so PayPal don't take out no fees. And so every bit can get to, um, to uh, Russell's family. Anyways, let's do the post. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Yeah, I was looking into razor shops for that um, Wade and Butcher. I was kind of thinking about maybe until I get the Wade and Butcher fixed up, invest in either a ZY or a gold dollar. Oh, my son's grumpy. Um, a ZY or a gold dollar. Um, thinking about contacting Anthony Esposito and see what he charges for a gold dollar. But, um, get one shave ready. And, uh, I need to get a strop. And I was looking at their own Razor Emporium. They have the russet horse hide, um, leather and canvas strops for like 85 bucks. But, I don't want to start out with a three inch strop, you know, because I don't want to drop almost a hundred bucks on a strop and tear it up, you know, um, by nicking it up. So, but they do sell, there's an Emporium sells russet or the, the same strop, but it's a two inch practice strop. So, Thinking about getting that, and that's only like 20 bucks. So, you know, if I sit there, if I blunt the edge of a ZY or, you know, gold dollar, screw off the edge, screw up, you know, trash the edge, then, um, you know, or dull it by stropping it wrong, then it's no big deal. Um, you know, uh, I, uh, was also thinking about maybe looking into a paddle strop or a box strop. I mean, straight, straight razor shaving would be absolutely new for me. So, um, if any of you straight razor shavers, you know, if you have any opinions, uh, let me know um, what would be the best, but I definitely know I want to get a practice drop and start out with probably a gold dollar or ZY and see where that takes me. Uh, my son's grumpy tonight. He's I think he's coming down with something again. Uh, the aftershave is um, Aqua Velva Ice Blue. So, 
We'll have to see where the straight razor thing goes because it's nearly a hundred bucks to get polishing home. Oh boy. He's five years old. He's sick. But his mom's got it. I'll go ahead and help her out here in a sec. But anyways, so yeah, that's the shave. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you ain't got a senator and you're interested in one, you can find one at a good price. Go ahead and get it. Um, great razor. Great, great razor. Um, I absolutely love that razor. Right? I mean, I've only used it once, but awesome shaver. Anyways, so yeah, that's a shave. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you stuck with me to the end, thank you so much. Anyways, um, y'all take it easy, and I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.